We've been contacted by a family of a mentally disabled man. He's severely disabled. He's in his late 50s. He's been in hospital and in care for most of his life. His photo now features on a campaign leaflet with the Prime Minister. And the first the family knew about it was when the leaflet turned up in the mail. And the leaflet is from Julia Gillard's own office. It's a postal voting information leaflet, of all things. His family members are his guardians. They've looked after his affairs for years. They've signed all his papers because he simply couldn't. They called Julia Gillard's office. No joy. They say they were hung up on. But somewhere, someone in the Labor camp decided that it could become an issue, so they managed to call them back. Finally, they spoke with someone from the Labor Party. They claimed the man signed a form. He signed a release. Uh, So from what we're told, it's clear that the man is disabled and not able to sign for himself. On the line is his guardian and sister-in-law, Margaret. Is it, is it clear to anybody meeting him that he is disabled? Well, I would think so. And that would have been clear uh, to the Labor Party when they, when they met him? I would imagine so. We, we believed that the abuse of using his image was absolutely scurrilous. And um, we've, we've told the, the people in the... Um, the campaign headquarters this and as I said we have now received an apology which took a week to come but it has been a week if we've been very distressed about it. They've apologised but are they are they going to do anything about it for oh, you? Yeah, uh, we have asked for that. We actually asked for oh, now a document, a receipt of authorised destruction of all images and anything to do with it I haven't actually received that, but we have received word that they will not they will not use the image anymore. Well, that's something at least.